Hello guys, this is Himanshu from Code Campaign. We are continuing with our linked list module, and today the problem that we are going to discuss about is how to reverse a linked list. So let's draw a linked list here. Okay, so suppose our linked list has three nodes. This is our head. So this is our input link list. So what will be the reverse of this link list? Okay, so this will be the reverse of our link list. Okay, so if you observe closely here, what is happening? Uh, the ones next was pointing to two. Now ones next is null. Right, so we are baking this, we are pointing it to null. Now, here two's next was pointing to three, here two next is pointing to one, right? So it should point to previous node. Three next is also pointing to the previous node, right? Three is pointing to two, so three is pointing to two, and head is pointing to three, right? So this is what happening here, right? So now both of these lists are same, right? So now let's see how we can go ahead and write it into algorithm. So let me remove all this. Okay, I'll restore our list to the initial condition it was. This is null, and here we have head so I'll represent head with H because so that I don't have to write much okay so what we have to do now so if you see here what we are doing we are breaking this link we are pointing this link to the previous node right so as our list is starting from this node so our previous node will be null right so so and oh, if we are breaking this node after breaking this link will not be able to come to this node, right? So we have to have one reference here so that we, after breaking this node, we should be able to come here, right? So uh, let's suppose this reference is N, okay? And uh, yeah, so, and uh, what we have to do, one next should point to the previous node, right? Because for every node, we were pointing it to the previous node, right? So suppose, the reference which is pointing to the previous node is P and initially it will be null, right? And then we'll have one more reference which will point to the current node, right? Because current node next we have to point to the previous node, right? So we'll have three references. So P will be initially null, right? C is the current node which will be initially pointing to the head. So head is H and there will be one more reference which will be pointing to the head next right so these are the three references we have now what we have to do so initially our list will look like this everything is initialized all the references are at its place so this is null now what we have to do we have to make current next equal to previous right so let's write that current or c next so c is representing our connect current so c next equal to previous previous is p right p so this will be broken this link will be removed and this next will be start pointing to null okay so one thing is done now what we have to do after this now we start uh, now uh, our previous will point to this right initially it was null but we have changed the next of this particular node to null now our previous will move from null to this right so how can we do this we'll say p equal to c so our previous will become current right after this what we have to do we have to move our current to the next uh, node on which we have to again perform the same operation right so we'll come at 2 right so how we can do this we'll say c equal to n right because n is pointing to the next node so our c will move from here to here and then what we have to do, we have to move our next to the other next node, right? Because we after uh, if we don't move n here, 
and we break this link so we'll not be able to move here right so we have to before breaking this node we have to move n here so we'll say n equal to n next okay so yeah this is done so our n will move here c is there p is there now we'll do again the same operation we'll say c dot next equal to p so c is next is this initially it's pointing to 3 we'll break this one and this will start pointing to p and p is pointing here right so this will start pointing to the previous node after that we are saying p equal to c so our p will move from here to here our p will come here right then we'll say c equal to n so our c will move from here here and then we are saying n equal to n dot next so our n will become null right after this what we have to do again we have to do the same thing c dot next equal to p will point here p equal to c so our p will come here and then c equal to n c will come here c will also become null uh, and then uh, when our c, uh, c will become null we'll break out of the loop right because this operation cannot be performed right n dot next n is already null right so and after this what what we have to do we have to say head equal to we have to point our head to the last node so our head will come here right right so now if you see here our list is completely reversed right so this will also be removed Head list is completely reversed right so that's how we are going to reverse our list iteratively so we have to have three references and then we'll move our references like this okay so uh, now let's go ahead and write the code for this algorithm okay so this is where we left our id in the last video so let's write let's start writing the code for reversing the list reverse list Again, we'll take the head. First, again, we'll check if head is null. If our list is empty, then there is no point of reversing it because there is nothing to reverse. Okay, so if our list is not empty, then we'll go ahead and try to reverse it. So, first, we'll take those three references. So, initially, previous will be null then we'll have one more reference which is current current was equal to head and then we had next reference which was equal to head next right so if i go back here so these are those three references right i put it as a short p c and n so this is previous current and next and h is for head Okay, so what we have to do here, we will keep on doing these operation until our next is not equal to null, right? So let's go back here. Until our next is not equal to null, right? We'll perform these operations, right? So initially what we'll do, we'll point our current next to previous, then previous equal to current, current equal to next, and next equal to next, next, okay? So let's do the same here. Current dot next equal to previous, previous equal to current, current equal to next, next equal to next, next, right? So we'll keep on performing this until our next is not equal to null. So when our next is null, again, we'll have to do the same thing here. Current equal to 
previous and then we'll just return our current from here right so let's go back to our ppt so when our uh, n uh, our next will be null our current will be here our previous will be here so we have to perform one more operation right current next equal to previous so this is what we are doing by this and then we'll re uh, return our current so that's all we have to do for reversing the list now let's go back and check if this program work let me comment all this okay so we commented all this now right so our list has three node one two three now let's just reverse the list catch the head okay and then print the list that we reversed so hopefully this program will reverse the list and print it now let's see Okay, so if you see here, 1, 2, 3 is being reversed as two, 3, 2, 1. That means our program work. Now let's uh, go back here and let's do the code walk. Right, so let me do, let me put both of these things side by side. Core utils and cool. So this is our program for reversing the list okay so this is our program so let's come let's draw our list here so this is our list one two and three this is pointing to null right so initially our previous is null right our current is equal to head right and our next is equal to head next right so here will be our head initially so our previous is null our current is equal to head and our next will be here right so this is our current hmm. so this is how it will be now after this what we are saying until our next is not equal to null we'll keep on doing these operations so what are the operation current next equal to previous so current next is this this will point to the previous so this is now null after this we are saying previous equal to current so our previous from here it will move to this node then we are saying current equal to next so our current from here it will come here and we are saying next equal to next next so next will move from here to here now our next is not equal to null right so we'll again come into the loop we'll again perform the same operation current next equal to previous so current next will point to previous so previous is pointing to this one so we'll point there this will be broken this broken now previous equal to current again so previous will move from here to here this node right after this current equal to next so current will move from here to here this node and then next equal to next next so when next will move from here to null now next equal to null so this while loop will end because this while loop will learn only when the next is not equal to null but our next is null now so we'll come to this line here it's saying current next equal to previous so current next which is null we are saying pointed to previous so previous is pointing here so we'll point here then we are saying return current right so we'll return uh, we'll return current right current is pointing to this node so we'll return this node 
and if you go to our program what we are doing here we are uh, making head equal to whatever uh, was the return value from this function right so our head will start pointing here right so now if you see this is our reverse list right so I hope now you guys understood how this program is working so okay so now let's discuss about the time complexity so as you see here we are traversing through all the nodes right so the time complexity is again if the list has n nodes so time complexity is on pretty simple and the space complexity so space complexity we are not utilizing any more space like we are only taking the space for the variables right so time complexity will be, space complexity will be o of 1 constant space right so space is independent of the length of the input because we are only taking the constant space so that's all for this video i hope you guys um, now understood how to reverse the link list in an iterative manner so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you have any queries or you want to start any discussion put it into the comment box so see you into the next video thank you